Hello, this is your host as always, the Mad Reviewer Kiyoma speaking. Today, we're viewing, I know, Fire Emblem Shadow Dragon. I have the sequel plan in mind that came after to start the whole casual mode and everything. Done. Haven't fully beaten it yet, but I have beat Shadow Dragon a couple times. Been playing through it, thanks to the, uh, thing allowing me to play through it again. He said, if you saw the pickups video, you saw this. I think I said it would have been in the car, and you would have seen it today or, or yesterday, depending on when this video is set to drop. Now, Shadow Dragon is basically, if you have the Switch, here it is. If you have the Switch, and you remember how the Fire Emblem digital only game that just got took off the market, I believe, was on there, that was basically the original one for the Ni Nintendo era. Shadow Dragon is a one-for-one -one remake of that game. They added an excessive prologue to it with more content to the story, which adds more context to the original story. Now, it's a remake of that game. So if you enjoy the NES version, you'll play this. And it's basically, if you had played all the Fire Emblems up to this point, which would have been the Sealed Sword, Blazing Sword, um, Scare Stones, and... It would have been this one. Oh wait, almost half of Radiance had come up by this. If you played all of them up to this point, then you're, you know what you're getting into. And you know it's gonna be a clogger fest. Oh my god, like survive for 50 turns? You better hope to gosh your crit rate. By the way, critical is king. Also, money is king as well in this game. Oh, but, yes. If you were to buy Shadow Dragon, be aware. This is not like the newer ones where you have casual mode where they will... No, if they die, they are dead. They are super dead. And I think they... Oh, 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 oh. You don't want certain ones to die because you'll actually get attached to these ones. Yeah, that's the problem. Permadeath. Oh, we have to talk about the older Fire Emblems, aren't I, before permad when Permadeath was a thing. You're going to have to comment down below when you want me to do that. But I've, I've still got the sequel to this one coming up that I've still have to beat that game to, too, for you to do the review of that one. Should you buy it? Hell yes. If you enjoyed the one that was for Switch, that was for the original Nintendo, but was extremely hard, this is basically that, but a lot less, more up-to-date modern. Yes. Buy it. But it's so ungodly expensive to put, like, over $100, at this point I would just say ROM it. Okay. Play it on emulation somehow. The best way you're gonna get it without having to charge yourself nickel and dime. The only thing that you get basically nowadays is you can almost put everything with the emulation to save everything up to the high shoot 3 era. So yeah, you can basically play this that way. I would recommend participation, but if you can afford it, buy it. It's really, really good. Because if you enjoyed, you know, Fire Emblem before the Switch, you'll enjoy this one. It's that exact same game, but better. It's a one-for-one -one full blown remake. They even had illustrations to it, which they couldn't in the very first one. So, yes. Definitely get this game. Worth your money. Totally worth it. But, if you don't want it, emulation is still a thing that you can do. It. And the R4 thing is still a thing, so... And you can still get the original feel for it. Till then, this is your host as always. Sign you off. Enjoy gaming.